and Thompson has his pocket, picks up, peels for out of bounds, didn't get that granted, and Murkovic will fire that one across, and Larsen from the top of the box, and deflected behind for the corner. O'Brien, and uh, here goes Muradovic, he's got Murkovic out wide, Murkovic will slide it through there, and a swing and a miss from Muradovic. In goes the in-swing delivery towards the near post, finding the head of Dern, and still kept alive there, Ludwig trying to fashion space, he goes down on the follow-up there from Janiel, and Ludwig forward for Muradovic, and he's got Walker out wide, Brown making a run through the middle, Max Brown, there's the breakthrough, Gold Coast Knights strike first in the derby, and it's Max Brown with the header. Brown making the run, able to split the difference between the two defenders, and not a whole lot Riley could do about that one. Linking up with Brown, although not quite for the same return this time, as beautiful ball through there from Martin as King makes his way into the box, off the right foot, towards the back post, and how did that one stay out? And on the follow-up, Nick Murkovic puts it over the bar. United trying to find a way back into this match as Golding goes for a run and is able to buy a couple of challenges there and get the cross away for Schmelz at the back post and tried to nod it back for O'Brien. United who really forced Langdon into too much work this evening. It's clipped forward by Walker and how's that for control by Brown? He'll try and square it and Berkovic from point blank range cannot get a clean strike away but can he do it on the follow up? He cannot. Another chance spurned for Gold Coast Knights. Haldo sliding it through and how's this in a little bit of space Shane Smeltz off the bar so close to the equaliser Shane Smeltz There's plenty of air under that one O'Brien back it goes and, and drilled forward and the improvised finisher could fall now for Smeltz at the back post the big game player levels proceedings in the derby with a quarter of an hour to go Shane Smeltz Quick thinking there, got the ball out to Smelt. And we know how lethal he can be from that range. Shot is possible and it's lobbed up towards the back post. Ludwig keeps it in there and a huge header made by, was that Mackay? On oh, dispossessed, now Smelt's looking to turn provider out wide it goes. Thompson King there for the cutback at the back post, wide open, Kai Tapaldo back to haunt his former club. It is 2-1 Gold Coast United, a massive turnaround in four minutes. And their finals hopes are still alive. How's that for a ball to the back post? And Tapaldo just had to stand there and direct it into the back of the net. Now De Vita, he's... Dangerous from just about any range and wins this one back. De Vita! Oh my goodness! Pasquale De Vita levels proceedings with five minutes to go. And how about that for the strike? He's already had a couple of range finders and saw the angle and bent it into the far post. Now it's United's turn to try and find a winner. They have and Here's Wahab, he's got space, he's got targets in the middle, can he find them? A diving header by Ludwig. Will be eventually taken quickly by Langdon. And that will be all she wrote from the Gold Coast Derby. A 2-2 draw as both sides really went at it in the final quarter of an hour.